In recent times, Europe has sweltered under scorching temperatures exceeding 46 degrees Celsius, 115 degrees Fahrenheit, while South Africa experienced an unexpected snowfall, with temperatures plummeting to minus 10 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees F. Scientists are divided in their predictions. Some warn of increasingly severe heat waves, while others foresee the onset of a new ice age or a prolonged cooling period spanning millions of years. Throughout Earth's 4.5 billion year history, it has undergone numerous ice ages, hinting at the possibility of another frigid era looming on the horizon. But what are the implications for our planet, and what concerns does humanity face? Surprisingly, Earth has already entered an ice age, albeit not in its most severe phase. Currently, we're in a warmer interval known as an interglacial period. However, this period will eventually come to an end, giving way to a return of bitter cold. The timing of this transition remains a subject of research, with scientists delving into past glacial epochs for clues. Ice core samples from Greenland and Antarctica, as well as ocean sediments, offer insights into Earth's climatic history spanning hundreds of thousands to millions of years. By studying ancient sediment and rocks, scientists have unveiled the secrets of climate change dating back hundreds of millions of years. The first recorded ice age, the Huronian Ice Age, struck around 2.4 billion years ago. During this period, Earth received significantly less sunlight, and primitive algae began emitting oxygen, displacing methane in the atmosphere. Subsequently, Earth endured nearly 300 million years of icy conditions, although equatorial regions remained relatively ice-free. The Cryogenian period followed, heralding the most severe cold spell in Earth's history. Temperatures plunged drastically, with even equatorial regions experiencing sub-zero conditions. Some scientists speculate that the planet was encased in ice, resembling a colossal snowball viewed from space. Despite the extreme cold, life persevered, with bacteria and algae eking out an existence near thermal springs. The Paleozoic era witnessed the Andean-Saharan Ice Age, which, though milder than the Cryogenian, persisted for 30 million years. Glaciers occasionally extended into subtropical latitudes, but overall temperatures remained slightly cooler than today. However, this period ended catastrophically with the Permian extinction, the most devastating mass extinction event in Earth's history. It's theorized that a methane hydrate bomb triggered by thawing permafrost caused a catastrophic release of methane into the atmosphere, leading to widespread extinction. Scientists continue to unravel the complex causes of global cooling, attributing it to various factors such as reduced solar activity and changes in Earth's orbit and axial tilt. Solar flares, fluctuations in the Earth's orbit, and volcanic eruptions all contribute to periodic climate shifts. Additionally, continental plate movements and mountain formation play crucial roles in sequestering carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. These factors collectively contributed to the onset of the last ice age approximately 35 million years ago. The late Cenozoic Ice Age, spanning the current Cenozoic era, is characterized by alternating glacial and interglacial epochs. Currently, Earth is in the interglacial Holocene Epoch, which has lasted for 11,700 years. However, this period is not immune to change, as evidenced by past shifts between warm and cold millennia. The last major glaciation epoch occurred around 110,000 years ago, followed by a thaw that ended the Little Ice Age in the 19th century. In conclusion, while Earth's climatic history is fraught with ice ages and interglacial periods, the prospect of another icy era looms on the horizon. Understanding the complex interplay of factors driving global cooling is crucial for predicting future climate trends and mitigating their impact on humanity and the planet. As we delve deeper into Earth's climatic past, we gain invaluable insights into the forces shaping our world's climate and the challenges that lie ahead. Hey there! Ever heard of the Little Ice Age? It's a fascinating period in history that kicked off around 1300 AD. Picture this. Europe was hit with some seriously harsh winters, freezing everything in sight and causing crops to fail. This led to the Great Famine, a two-decade-long struggle for survival. But hey, eventually, things warmed up again by the late 19th century, and we've been enjoying milder temperatures ever since. However, don't let the current warmth fool you. Ice ages tend to make a comeback roughly every 10,000 years, and some scientists reckon we might be due for another chilly spell sooner than we think. But how is this possible when we're constantly hearing about rising temperatures, 
melting glaciers, and efforts to combat global warming? Well, it turns out that our planet is pretty good at regulating its own climate. Despite all the greenhouse gases we've pumped into the atmosphere, Mother Nature might decide to take matters into her own hands. Some experts believe that global warming could paradoxically lead to global cooling. How? By melting the Arctic ice, which then evaporates and falls as snow in cooler regions, kick-starting the formation of new glaciers. If this trend continues, it could disrupt the warm Gulf Stream, preventing it from reaching polar seas and causing ice sheets to grow rapidly. And when the next ice age hits, get ready for some major changes. Just like in the past, glaciers will reshape the landscape, mountains will be compressed, and sea levels will drop dramatically. Imagine waking up one day in sunny Florida only to find yourself in frosty Alaska. Entire countries could see their borders redrawn and sea levels could plummet by a staggering 150 meters, exposing new land bridges and reshaping coastlines. But it's not all doom and gloom. Regions like Australia, Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia would remain relatively warm and fertile, offering refuge for billions of people fleeing the cold. Still, surviving an ice age won't be easy. Crop failures, food shortages and mass migrations could lead to widespread famine and geopolitical upheaval. But fear not, because humanity has a knack for innovation. From geoengineering to genetic modification, there are plenty of ideas floating around on how to tackle the cold. We could pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere to warm things up, or harness the power of nuclear fusion to generate heat. Glaciers themselves could become a source of renewable energy, with massive hydroelectric power plants built to harness the energy of melting ice. And with advances in agriculture, we could even develop cold-resistant crops to ensure food security. Ultimately, whether we face a mild ice age or some other form of climate change, one thing's for sure. Winter is coming, and it's up to us to prepare. So, what do you think we should do to brace ourselves for the cold? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to stick around for more fascinating insights into our planet and beyond. Thanks for watching. Now, let's delve deeper into the fascinating history of ice ages and their impact on Earth's climate. It's incredible to think that our planet has experienced such dramatic shifts in temperature over its 4.5 billion year history. Ice ages, characterized by widespread glaciation, have been recurring events, shaping the landscape and influencing life on Earth. The earliest known ice age, the Huronian Ice Age, occurred approximately 2.4 billion years ago. During this time, the Earth experienced significantly lower temperatures and extensive ice cover due to reduced sunlight and the rise of oxygen-producing algae. This icy period lasted for nearly 300 million years, shaping the planet's geological features. Following the Huronian Ice Age, the Cryogenian period witnessed some of the most severe cold conditions in Earth's history. Temperatures plummeted, with even equatorial regions experiencing frigid conditions. The planet's surface resembled a frozen wasteland, with vast expanses of ice covering much of the globe. This era, lasting from about 720 million to 635 million years ago, profoundly influenced the evolution of life on Earth. Moving closer to the present, the Andean Saharan Ice Age occurred around 450 million years ago during the Paleozoic Era. Although less severe than the Cryogenian period, this ice age still saw glaciers extending into subtropical regions, altering the planet's climate and geography. However, the most recent ice age, known as the Late Cenozoic Ice Age, began approximately 35 million years ago and continues to the present day. This period is characterized by fluctuating temperatures with alternating glacial and interglacial epochs. We are currently in an interglacial period known as the Holocene Epoch, which began about 11,700 years ago. Despite the relatively warm conditions of the Holocene, ice ages have left a lasting impact on Earth's landscape. Glaciers have sculpted mountains, carved valleys and reshaped coastlines. Sea levels have fluctuated, exposing land bridges and creating new habitats for flora and fauna. But what would happen if another ice age were to occur in the near future? The prospect of a new ice age raises questions about its potential impact on humanity and the environment. With advances in technology and scientific understanding, we are better equipped to anticipate and adapt to changes in our climate. One of the key challenges of an ice age would be ensuring food security in the face of colder temperatures and shorter growing seasons. Crop failures could lead to food shortages, famine and mass migrations as people seek warmer climates and fertile land. However, humans have a history of resilience and innovation in the face of adversity.
From developing cold-resistant crops to harnessing renewable energy sources, there are numerous strategies we could employ to mitigate the effects of an ice age. Geoengineering techniques, such as artificially warming the atmosphere or manipulating ocean currents, could help regulate global temperatures and maintain agricultural productivity. Advances in genetic modification could yield crops that thrive in colder climates, ensuring a stable food supply for future generations. Additionally, renewable energy technologies, such as hydroelectric power from melting glaciers, could provide sustainable energy sources to support human settlements in colder regions. By harnessing the power of nature, we can adapt and thrive in the face of changing environmental conditions. In conclusion, while the prospect of another ice age may seem daunting, it also presents an opportunity for innovation and adaptation. By leveraging technology and scientific knowledge, we can prepare for the challenges ahead and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. So, let's embrace the challenge and work together to build a resilient and thriving planet, no matter what the future may bring. If you enjoy our content and would like to stay updated, we'd be thrilled if you could hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. Thanks for your support.